Sketch the surface, x squared minus y squared plus z squared equals zero. Sketch the traces in the xy, xz, and yz planes. First, the trace in the xy plane. So here we let z be equal to zero. Our equation becomes x squared minus y squared equals zero. I solve for y, we get y equal to plus or minus x. Make sure you keep your negative solution. Our trace then is y equals x, y equals minus x. For the xz plane, we let y be equal to zero. Our equation becomes x squared plus z squared equals zero. And our trace is just the origin. So the only way I can put two numbers in as squares, add them together and get zero, is if our numbers were originally zero to begin with. So we only get the origin out. We want to sketch here, so I need something more interesting in the planes that are parallel to the xz plane. So I consider y equals c. Okay, if we let y be equal to c, then our equation becomes x squared plus z squared equals c squared, and then I have a circle. Okay, the radius is gonna be absolute value of c. Okay, if we had a negative number for c, we're gonna throw away the minus sign to get the radius. Finally, I look at the yz plane, so I let x be equal to zero, and then we note we'll wind up with z equal to plus or minus y, so again, we have the lines at the 45 degree angles. Okay, take our traces, we put them together. So we have a great guideline in the yz plane. It's gonna be this 45 degree line here, and then we have a 45 degree line on the other side. So once we have those, we could just put these circles in, in the planes that are parallel to xz. So that's y equals c. So you note we get the double nap cone. 